What's up everybody? Welcome back to another quick look with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony, and today we're taking a quick look at War Tile. This is a game by Playwood Project. It was originally a Kickstarter project that failed to be funded, but it's still uh, released as you can see. It's, it's currently an early access on Steam and it costs $20. The menu system looks pretty incomplete. I've already gotten to this screen, which just says, uh, War tile in an ever-changing world, fueled by the greed for gold and the lust of power. One way to survive is by embracing the old ways, uh, explore the mythology, and challenge the god gods. Only with the ambition to harness the ancient powers and loots and loot the spoils of the world, your path in this life will echo in eternity. And then you click continue. Uh, every time I've clicked this, it's frozen for a little bit and then moved on. We'll see. Okay, that was actually fine. And then it brings you to this, which is the game screen, where you can no longer adjust your settings, so make sure you do that on the previous screen. I assume you're not following along with me, so let's keep it going. Tears of Air. This is the first time I'm going to click anything here. Every time other than this, I've just quit out of the game. I, this is a blind let's play. And uh, for the record, I did receive a copy of this game for review purposes for free. But I will not allow that to affect my stated opinions on the game. So the tears of air, the water doesn't appear to be animating. Was that animating previously or did it, or was it never animating? I don't know. Other things are animating like these leaves. I saw this thing over here. Um, that book that just did that. You can't see my mouse. Um, so pointing to things doesn't really work. With only a slight breeze touching the rushes, the swamp seemed almost peaceful during the day. Continue. All right, yeah, that water just doesn't animate which is fine it's an early access game there's going to be bugs i don't know what just popped up on the screen it looked like a card of some sort this is a card based uh rpg no i think it's an rpg in a way movement cooldown every it, it's also a it's a it's a strategy game it's a card based strategy game potentially an rpg it says it's an rpg on the steam page don't know how accurate that is keyboard controller okay Let's, uh, let's look at all these things we can mouse over. Keyboard controller used WAS keys to move the camera around, rotate camera with Q and E, and zoom with R and F keys. Okay, that's actually pretty reasonable. Ooh. All right, that's, that's smooth. That's nice. And move. Uh, what's that say? The space key will slow down time. The reason that's highlighting when I move like this is because that's where my uh, mouse happens to be on the screen. All right. Then we got mouse controls. Move units, click and hold left mouse button left mouse button on units to move them. Control camera. Click and hold left mouse button anywhere on map to drag the camera around. Use the right mouse button to rotate the camera around and zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Okay, so Wow. Okay, that's a little more sensitive than I expected. That's nice on the keyboard as well. I like that water. I wish it was animating, but that looks really cool. I hope the quality of the video is good enough for you to actually see how cool the water looks here. Um, and then we've got movement cooldown. Every time a figurine has been moved, it has to wait for a movement cooldown before it can be moved again. All right. Are there cards in this game? Yeah. So shield bash, stun the target for six seconds, and deal five damage. Stunned units are unable to defend themselves. I guess I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I can't drag this unit. I assume it's an enemy. Health. The size of the colored circle shows the figurine's current health status. The smaller it gets, the closer to the figurine. The closer the figurine is to breaking. Ooh. Was this relic? Relics activate when you are nearby them and out of combat. They will heal your figurines to full health and save your progress. If your units die, you can retry from this point. Okay. There's a lot of tooltips around here. A sacrifice, call upon the attention of air, the god of healing, with a mammal sacrifice. Interesting. I'm not really sure what's happening. There's bushes that I can click on. Cool. Okay, I'm going to try to move this unit. Okay. There we go. Then I have to wait for the cooldown and I can move it again. Uh, can I kill this dude? Do I have to play a card? Okay, I can't. What about from here, now that I'm on the same level as him? No, don't know how that works. Probably just not supposed to kill that guy. Um, sure. And then it automatically chops that bush down. Cool. Animations are nice. I like it a lot. It's smooth. It's 
a very visually attractive game. This is not the highest visual settings, and I still think it looks pretty dang good. There's a frog. Oh, look at that. Look at that frog. All right. Am I going to do anything to the frog? Am I going to axe the frog? The frog is gone. That's a little sad. We did something to the cross. We turned it into a... I guess each army might have its own relics and we convert them by hitting them. We have to attack this guy, right? I, I don't I don't know. No, I guess not. That was sweet. That's a pretty cool uh, way of handling like transitions. It's a trap. Place the trap by dragging it on a tile. Be careful not to step on it. So you can be affected by your own traps, it sounds like. We just got a weapon, I believe. This guy's gonna kill us. Or try to. There, okay, I shield bashed him because we were in combat. So it seems like it's a real time game. The volume is very loud. You can adjust the settings here. Master volume doesn't appear to adjust uh, music volume. Master volume seems like it's everything other than music, which is not how master volume is typically used, so watch out for that. Um, move up here. Looks like something like a Celtic knot or whatever those are called. We'll collect that. Did I do it? Did I collect it? No. Okay, let's uh, read what it has to say then. Battle points. Whoa, okay, I got battle points. These are used to activate godly and tactical cards. It's moving around a little bit, a little buggy. Uh, that's gonna be hard to read. Okay, you earn these by defeating enemy figurines and interacting with objects on the battle board. You can track how many you have at the bottom of the screen. Yes, I see. I see that Celtic knot at the bottom. Okay. Pick up trap. Yes, please. All right, we've gained our trap card. You've activated my trap card. All right. Oh, zoom out. Yeah, watch the zoom level. I'm gonna go this way, actually. There's uh, some units over here as well. Keep your hands on the keyboard. I keep taking mine off, but it's, it's definitely a lot easier to use the keyboard and mouse to control than uh, just the m mouse. Shield bash that dude. All right, we got a battle point. We're gonna move toward this chest. It automatically opens when you get near it. We got what I assume is gold from that. This dude's fighting these guys over here, so I'm gonna go check check out what's going on. I didn't mean to move that far, I wanted to go to here. High ground, oh, okay. This is just a demonstration. Um, fighting from high ground gives a significant defense skill modifier. I was thinking about that. I was wondering if that would come into play. Uh, auto attack, your figurines will auto attack enemies within range. Combat is resolved by their equipment, combat skills, the position, the use of abilities, and a spoonful of random chance. Just a spoonful. Flanking, flanking and attacking the enemy from one of the three rear tiles gives you a strong attack skill modifier. So, being behind an enemy gives you a, a modifier. Okay. I misinterpreted that at first, but that makes sense. You have a facing. There's six tiles around you. Three of them are considered the front. Three are considered the back. And if you attack from any of the three back tiles, you get an advantage. Yeah, kill that bush. Figurine ability cards. These cards show up on show up when you... Select the unit by clicking on it. Uh, these abilities are used by clicking and sometimes dragging onto the field. Using these have no cost, but will put the ability on a cooldown timer. Seems reasonable. Can I collect this? No, that's my shield bash. That's the same card as the one I'm holding. It's just a demonstration card. Lever, click to activate. Requires a figurine to be nearby. Let's go kill this goat, I guess. 
And these two dudes, I would imagine. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see the way that spun around? That was so weird. Selecting units and targets. Okay, these aren't killable. Um, you can select figurines by clicking on them. This will show the unit stack, units stack cards and ability cards in the lower right corner. In addition, oh, I got a goat card. It can be sacrificed at an altar. I see, I see. Um, this will, that's why it flew off the screen like that. It wasn't just a weird physics bug. Um, this will show the unit stat cards and ability cards in the lower right corner. In addition, you can select your own units and click on enemy figurines to change the figurines target. Okay. So when I've got this one selected, it shows me the shield bash and the goat. When I'm not selecting him, it doesn't show me those. And it gives me the stats in the lower left corner as well. Does it say that? It just says lower right corner. Um, so yeah, the stats are in the lower left corner. That That's not stated on this, but that's fine. Dummy. So, okay, see how this, this says dummy down in the lower left corner here? And then when I click this, it says warrior. Okay, cool. So far... The game has a pretty reasonable control scheme. I think it works. Gotta pull the lever to lower that bridge. Uh, there's some weird clipping going on, but no problem. I don't mind. I don't know where we're trying to go. I guess up to here. Is this the altar of air? Place your sacrifice on the altar. A local mammal would be fitting. Goat it up. Alrighty. A mammal sacrifice. Your devotion and respects to ear have been noticed, and you are blessed with the power to heal. A sacrifice called upon the attention of ear and the god of healing with a mammal sacrifice. Okay. Click to dismiss that. Completed. Look at that. Level completed. Score 500. Score 700. Gold 50. Units killed 2. Units lost 0 because I'm the best. Let's move on. Maybe try to get, I don't know how many more tutorial missions there are. This is a nice menu. It's a nice table. Can I like, okay, I can't rotate or use the mouse controls to like look around. I just have to, this is the whole menu. So we got shops where we can buy new figurines. This is not real money as I had hoped because it is a $20 game. It's not a free to play game with purchases you can make. It's not pay to win. These are figurines you can purchase with the gold you've won in the game. So, let's buy that. <laughs> Neat. It was a little weird, but sure. And let's buy this as well, because we do have the money for it. <laughs> he did not like flying through the air like that. No units available. Uh, I don't know how to back out of this screen. Oh, that little button right there. Click that. Okay, we've got, I don't know what these are. You know what, back, okay. Multiplayer not unlocked, multiplayer will unlock once you have completed the coastline board, battle board. We've got some stuff in here. These are missions, I guess, cause I've got, oh no, these are uh, bonuses. I have unlocked the touch of ear i thought that was the name of the mission and that we would go on to these next missions but no these are cards unlocked during missions again completely blind i just realized that the thing i'm clicking on is a d4 that's pretty cool uh customization upgrade your figurines this is a card i got out of a chest not a card but a weapon i got out of a chest i'm gonna do that go for it all right and then we go here during the night the lost norse roam the swamps a phenomenon said to originate uh from the pits of hell offering them a chance to earn their seat in valhalla so these are missions they're not very well labeled but let's let's do this one and then we place two units into the boat we got, okay, that's slightly off screen. That's unfortunate. Spearman. All 
All right. And warrior. You can kind of piece those together. So rather than having two warriors, I'm going to have my one warrior and one spearman. Can I place a third? Remove one unit. So no. Begin. There's more space in the boat, so I'm guessing different missions allow different numbers of units, or you have to upgrade the amount of units you're allowed to bring, or something along those lines. The Lost Norse, the sound of scraping metal emerging from the darkness as Lost Norse warriors craw out from their hideouts. All right, sounds pretty dang spooky. Continue. I don't think we're doing a tutorial anymore, so this might be a bit of a challenge. It's a early mission, so it's probably pretty easy. I might fail it. I did lose the very first mission in, um, what was that game called? Oh, they're moving already. Um, Earthfall. I lost the very first mission I completed, or I, I tried to play in Earthfall, so it makes sense that um, I might lose this one as well. They are coming toward us. All right, maybe we wait here. We auto fight, so let's wait for them to come to us. Now do it. Oh, okay, we're good. Shield bash him. Oh, okay. I don't think I successfully shield bash, but he died anyway, so good for us. We're just gonna wait because they are moving toward us, and I don't want to have that delay. Um, where maybe the two units wouldn't both be fighting together. Seems a little dangerous. Can I move you past? No, okay. That sucks. I feel like right now, it was one on one, but now it's two on one. Almost dead. Boom. Pretty soon we'll heal our warrior because he's pretty damaged for now. Let's go get this chest. This is the same map we were just on, or at least a very similar one. Coin? Yeah, 50 coins. Gonna unlock a lot of new units with that. We heal automatically? No, that's just a second unit. Right, okay. Ooh. Healed up. Might have been a waste, but I'm not so sure. Come on, die. Spearman has a range of two, so we're gonna keep him in the back. But right now it doesn't matter because there's no more enemies up here. We're just gonna go to this chest as quickly as possible. And then we're going to keep the spearmen in uh, behind the warrior. I assumed this was going to be more of a turn-based thing. I wasn't sure how the uh, real-time aspects of it would work out, but I kind of dig it. It's pretty cool. It, it keeps you on your feet. Skull of Hell. Uh, retrieve the Skull of Hell from the Ancient Norse and escape to the Viking ship. So now we're doing the reverse of what we did previously. We have to go from uh, the altar to the boat instead of from the boat to the altar. All right, and we go in this cave. We both traveled automatically. I didn't have to drag the second guy. Just a little... Not lame, but a little, uh, lame. A little uncool. I, I wanted to control both of them. I, I wanted to see how it handled one unit being inside and one unit being outside. All right, it doesn't bring you to full health. It just heals you a specific amount, so I didn't waste it before, I don't think. He's dead. Got another treasure chest down here. I don't know what these are. It looks like just decorations. Oops. I guess I'll drag this guy to here. What is this? It's the second time we've gotten one of those. I don't know what it was. Make sure we're not missing out on any uh, battle points. Nope, doesn't look like it. I can just drag you right to here and we're both outside. Cool. All right, okay, I kind of like it. I guess it makes sense. Uh, we're gonna go this way, kill these bushes, and then go down here where we have the high ground in this battle. And then quickly make our way back up. Oh, I think we have to get to here. Quickly make our way back up so we don't lose the high ground for this battle. All right. Cool. Got two different guys focusing on two different things. 
Uh oh. Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm trying to click the card, but it's uh, it kept dragging. Doesn't exactly know when you're clicking on cards versus other things, so watch out for that. Again, early access, the controls aren't completely perfected yet. There are going to be bugs. I, I, I'm having a lot of fun. Move him out of the way so he doesn't die. I don't think this is recharged yet. Based on the fact that the number is red. I'm gonna shield bash the next thing that comes toward me. Uh oh. We're in danger here. Okay. Um, I don't know what just happened, but cool. Maybe we should just, okay, it looks like we could go to any of these boats. Boat of the Lost Norse. I paused. I can still look around. Boat of the Lost Norse. Oh no, I can't like move though, so. All right. And boat of, okay, they're all boats of the Lost Norse. I don't know which one I have to go to. What's this? Oh crap. Gotta keep teaming up. Oh, this is charged. Heal that, oh no. Okay, we've only got one guy left and he's pretty dang dead. Skull of hell. We got it. Uh, now we gotta go to a boat. Can it be any boat? Let's get far away. Hopefully it can be any boat. This is hectic. We're killing the boat, which is odd. It's an odd thing to do to a boat that you're trying to escape on. But we got some battle points for it. This thing can no longer hurt us, but we can hurt it. Um, I'd really like to heal again. I don't know what the uh, cooldown time on that is, but luckily we have a much higher range, so this thing can't hurt us yet. We've almost killed it. It's gonna hit us. Come on, attack again, attack again. Yes, okay. We're gonna immobilize this next thing. I'm gonna go here, immobilize, kill it. They're still spawning, which sucks. Oh, we spend battle points to use the healing. I had no idea, but I know now. Okay. Once we kill this thing, we'll have a path, hopefully, uh, before this thing catches up. No, that's not where I wanted to move at all. We got no battle points for killing that one thing. Move before it attacks. This is actually a pretty decent strategy as long as we don't get um, cornered again. Do we want to keep battle points or use them? We get, we get some for killing this boat. Or not. We're just gonna die. And we can't immobilize, so we lost. Uh, it happens. Oh no, try again. Might as well. I think we know a little bit more now, so. Let's continue. I thought that thing had a recharge. Apparently it has a, uh, you spend points on it. Okay, we get it. We know where we're going this time. I can't click this lever to bring the bridge up. There's no real reason to do so. I just thought it might be fun. Immobilize that thing uh, to make our job a little easier here. Shield bash that thing. Got some battle points. Okay, I definitely have a better understanding of what's happening. These cards recharge, these cards you spend points on. Cool. Battle point earned. Don't heal yet. Do keep this guy behind you. 
Now, we don't want that guy to have the high ground, so we're going to stay here. We're not going to move forward until he does. Yeah. Now we're on equal ground. Dude, please. Please attack. Spear, dude. I don't know what he was thinking, but it wasn't helpful. All right. On to the cave. I'm not really sure what we have to do to complete the mission. I thought we just had to get onto a boat, but it seems that is not the case. Also, the enemies do continually spawn from the boat, so we have to hurry. Retrieve the Skull of Hell from the Ancient Norse and escape to the Viking ship. This has got to be the Viking ship. Okay, so all we have to do is get the skull, go to the ship. We don't have to go to any of the other boats, we just have to go to the ship. High ground, maintain it, immobilize. Uh, shield bash the healthier one, boom, okay. We're definitely improving. I'm definitely interested in seeing what they have in store for additional features because while this game is in early access and it makes sense because the controls are a little wonky and there's obviously bugs and the like. Um, what is this? The boats. The madness from the Lost North spread across the water, smash their boats to stop it. Okay, so I guess we're going to try that because we did get a lot of battle points from it. Go this way. Don't die this time. There's a treasure chest here, so I'd like to get that. Start murdering. Ooh, a shield. Sweet. Okay. Actually, I'm going to have you... No. Just uh, kill this guy. There we go. Uh, go here. Kill the boat. Go down to where there's even ground. Instead of having to fight from the low ground, just keep retreating. I think that makes more sense. You kill this boat. You kill that dude. Immobilize him. Healing the warrior. All right. Yeah, we've definitely worked out some strategy here. Immobilizing them doesn't prevent them from attacking, unfortunately. It only prevents them from moving, which I should have realized sooner. That's what I originally thought, and then I was like, oh, no, maybe not. But no, I was wrong. I was right the first time. Attack it. Uh, shield bash this. No, don't. It's cool. He's almost dead. Um, you're cooled down, so start attacking the boat, please. All right. I think we got it this time. We need to get the skull, which I think this dude is holding. He seems to be wearing it. More accurately. Shield bash it. Get him dead. Immobilize. There's a little bit of a lag between when you click on the unit and when the card actually pops up, and it seems like it doesn't always pop up properly. I'm gonna move you away. This guy's not in much danger because this guy's too far away. This guy needs a heal, but is otherwise fine. We're about to get the skull. There's one more boat to destroy. It seems like we actually don't have to do that, so that's it's still fine. We, we are going to do it. Get the skull, click to pick up. Okay, we got it. Provide backup. You move. You also move, because I didn't realize how low your health was. If we do want to keep battle points, like as many as possible, I don't I don't care. At the moment, I just don't care. We are going to get on the boat and we're gonna leave. Do I have to move it onto that target? I don't. Okay. <laughs> Just messing around, 
experimenting with what we can do. Score 1800, gold 50. Units killed, 13 units lost, zero. Two thumbs up. That was a lot of fun. Um, there's plenty more to experience in this game. Maybe I'll make it a regular thing. Maybe I won't. We'll find out in the next couple months. But for now, that is all for now. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. I would give this game two thumbs up, especially in early access. Um, and I think, you know, it's it's got a lot of room to improve, but War Tile is pretty great so far. I think, you know, it's it's probably worth the money. If it continues to improve, it will definitely be worth the money. And I will see you next time.